hello and welcome to the tutorial of vector diagram we will start from the basic for n as you can see here in step 1 for inductive load let me correct it for purely inductive load as you can see here v lead and i lag for and purely capacitive load i lead and v lag and for resistive load there is no phase difference as v and i are in same phase so if for inductive circuit if we let V as a reference voltage, let this as voltage, then I will be lag V by 90 degree because it's purely inductive, it's lag by 90 degree, and this is I. For capacitive circuit, if we take V as a reference value, then I lead, I lead V by 90 degree, and for resistive load. V and I are in same phase. So if we take V as a reference value, then I is in same phase. Now let's combine all these things together in step 2. For RLC series circuit, let we take I as a reference value. I here is the I in total I in this circuit. And VR will be in same phase with I and VL will be lead I by 90 degree because it's inductive. This is VL. For VC as you know it will be lag I by 90 degree VC. Here is a total voltage resultant voltage VS is, is equal to VR plus VL minus VC. So VL minus VC will be somewhere right there. Now the resultant value this this is VL minus VC. So the resultant value will be somewhere between have to we have to add VR and VL minus VC. So the resultant value will be this and this is our total voltage VS and this is our current. Now let's move on to our final step, step 3. As you can see here in this example, let's take this branch voltage as a as a b voltage a b. So we take a reference value, reference voltage as v a b. This is v a b. For this capacitive circuit, let this as I C for I C as we know I lead V I will be lead V A B by 90 degree. So this is I C and in this branch current let the current is I2. The I2 in this branch is the branch is not purely inductive. So the I2 will be lag from 0 to 90 degree, not exactly 90 degree. So I2 will be lag VAB by somewhere between let this is as I2. So the resultant current I is, is equal to will be I2 plus IC. So as we can see here, this current is the resultant current I. For calculating the voltage, let us assume that this is V, sorry, this is VC, this is voltage as VR and this voltage as VL. So, for this line I2, we have two voltages, VR and VL. As we know, VR is in same phase with I2. So, let we denote this as V. R and VL will be 90 degree lead with I2. So this line I2 VL will be lead 90 degree. This is VL. So the total current of so, sorry total voltage of this branch is VR plus VL and VR and V sorry this will be VL. VR plus VL resultant is 
this voltage and in this branch vc will be lag ic by 90 degree this is ic and this vc will be same here as its lag so this is the total voltage vab as it is v now let's move on to example 2 in this example as we can see here this two branch is not this is not purely capacitive and this is not purely inductive because it has a resistive element in there so let us denote this as a this point is b so this voltage will be vav let us take the reference voltage value as v a b and current of this branch let us take it as i2 and in this branch current is i1 and the resultant current i is is equal to i1 plus i2 so as you can see here i2 will be lead because in capacitive branch we know i lead v by 90 degree but this is not purely capacitive because it has a resistive element in there so i2 will be somewhere between here let us take i2 remember that this is not 90 degree somewhere between 0 to 90 this is i2 and for i1 it will be lag vab let's take this is as i1 okay so in i2 we have two voltages in i2 we have two voltages vrc and vc so in i2 vrc will be in same phase v r c let me correct it v r c and with i2 vc will be 90 degree lag behind and v c this is as v c and the total voltage is is v r r plus v c is equal to v a b then the resultant voltage is in this and this is the resultant voltage as in is equal to v a b now for i1 we have to calculate v r and v l in i1 v r will be same phase so let us take this is as v r and v l will be 90 degree lead so from this we have v l and as we can see here v l v l plus v r is is equal to v a b v l v r plus v l is is equal to v a b this is our resultant voltage and oh we forgot to calculate i1 okay to find i we have to add i1 plus i2 this is i1 and this is i2 so i2 i1 and i2 this will be the resultant current i and this is our resultant voltage vab is a is equal to vs the supply voltage now i have a problem for you try it yourself if you having any trouble with this please see the solution here thanks for watching